What is going on everybody this is Jay from Maji and Jay and yes today in this video I have decided to change the routine a little bit and leave the smartphones aside and create a video on how to build or rebuild your balance scooter. I have seen a couple of videos out there but I have questions myself that's because they're not providing all the details on the screws that you're going to need on all the parts that you're going to need and the step by step process. I'm going to try to keep this simple but at the same time detailed so this video is not going to be short whatsoever so you guys might get a little bored. But again, this is only intended for those of you who are curious on all the parts that are needed in order to make this thing functional. And in case you already have one and you want to rebuild it and you don't know how to, then you can go ahead and watch this entire video. It's going to be very detailed, like I said before. And I have even created a list here with all the screws that you guys are going to need. And I have them on my left hand side. They are labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And as I am installing all the parts, I'll be showing you guys exactly what I'm using. You can see that this little package comes with the screw size right here. So in case you guys want to build your own, you can do it very easily. The process is super simple, guys. This is not very complicated, but you must have all the parts available to make it work. Now, the screws that you guys see on the left-hand side, they were purchased from my local retail store, which is Home Depot, but that's only here in the USA. If you guys live in other countries, you must find your own place where you can find screws. Now, just make sure that you get exactly the same sizes that I have here. This is going to help you a lot. I went to Home Depot myself, and I brought my hoverboard. And I was just taking screws out and I labeled them actually, as you guys can see here, I labeled them one, two, three, four, five, and six. And the main ones are going to be some machine screws that you guys are going to need. These are the ones in the white bag, in case you guys want to know. These are the sizes for them. Uh, and this is going to go pretty much on every single hole that you guys see here on the actual frame. These are machined and then the other ones go along with the list. Next, what you guys are going to need is a battery holder, of course. You have the battery itself, and this battery came from iBaby888. I already had it uh, a few months ago when I provided the tutorial on how to replace the battery. Uh, you're also going to need two gyros. Now, these gyros were already uh, pre-prepped by me. You can see that I have here the uh, screws installed. Uh, but then I got a kit that came with the battery holder. It came with the gyro plastics. The black ones are not included when you guys buy the extra gyros, but some sellers do include them. So make sure that you guys get educated on where you're going to find the parts if you need them. Uh, but yes, I got the plastic separate and um, I already installed these. So that was uh, very helpful. Uh, next, we're going to need the motherboard and the motherboard with the gyros, they came from the same seller. I got them from eBay. I don't know if you guys remember, my brother's scooter broke completely. So when I got the replacement motherboards, I got them from uh, eBay and then the seller uh, knew that I was uh, going to make a video on how to pretty much assemble a scooter and he decided to donate these to me. So I got them 100% for free, which is very cool. Uh, these go for about $65 or $55 and that includes the two gyros and also the motherboard. If you guys want, I can provide the link below. Uh, next, I got the motors and the motors were also for free. So here you guys can see that I had the majority of the parts or at least the most expensive ones. Uh, this motor came from iBaby. Now these are the ones that I took out from the blue board and I replaced them for the Mercedes type of uh, rim. And uh, I just happened to have these laying around and I said, you know what, these are very expensive. They go for about, I think it's 75 or $80 each. So I just said, you know what, let me go ahead and uh, just take advantage of them and just build my own thing. So I'm very excited guys, this is the first time I do this. Uh, then next here we got the metal frame. This I got it also from iBaby and it came with the sensors and also the screws already installed, which is a great help. But now the kit that I got that came with the battery holder and also the gyro holders, including the pads. This is where you guys are going to be standing on. And this goes over it, just in case you guys are curious. All this kit came included and they also included the sensors. But now this frame came already with it, so I don't have to worry about it, which is very cool. Um, and then you're going to need these plates with the four screws that also came included with the frame. This is so that you can hold your wheels. Um, next, we got the pads. This is going to go on the opposite side of the frame. Let me just give you an idea so that way you know. It goes like this, and then the pad goes on top of it, likewise, so that way when you step on it, there's something that is pressing it, as you guys can see here. So that's the purpose of the inner plastic. 
So make sure that you guys get both because you will need them. And after that, guys, that's pretty much it. You're going to need two different tools. And one of them is going to be a Phillips uh, screwdriver. In my case, I have the electronic one, which is very helpful. I got this also from eBay in case you are uh, interested. And, uh, and then you're also going to need the Allen uh, driver. Finally, I got the outer casing. In this case, I got the red ones and I already prepped them up. Now, when I got the motherboards, it came with uh, all the LED lights. So that's, that's why you guys can see that these boards are all green. This all came included with the kit um, when I got the motherboards. If you guys want, I can also provide the link for it. So I already prepped them, I already installed them, and then let me show you the other one. So these are the lower plastics or the lower housings, if you want to call it that way. This is where you guys are going to find your LEDs. I already prepped it. This all came unassembled and it's very easy to assemble it. Now something that you guys might want to know is that you will need hot glue in order to uh, place it on the LED lights, at least for the front ones, the ones that light up when you guys step on it. And then I also prepped all the connections such as the charging port and also the power key. It's already been installed on there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But yeah, everything is prepped and this one came Bluetooth ready even though I don't have the Bluetooth capabilities on this particular model but it came ready for it in case you guys want to purchase that separately which is very very cool and that's about it guys. So with this being said, let's get started. Before we get started with this complete tutorial, I would like to let you know which side is the battery side and which one is the motherboard. If you guys look closely, we do have here some lifters and this is the side where the motherboard gets installed. And then on the left hand side where it is nice and plain, this is where the battery is going to be located and it goes in like this likewise so you guys can see that yes, this is the battery side. So make sure that you keep that in mind so that you don't install everything backwards. After installing the upper casing, our next step will be to install the motherboard. To do so, you're going to need two machine screws in which the size is the following. 
this is the size in case you guys want to know and then after this we're going to go ahead and pass some of the wires through this little tunnel to the other side so here we go Okay, so now that we have gotten the motherboard installed, the next step will be to install the battery. To do so is very simple. Just place it in the proper spot. Likewise, make sure that the connector is facing the other connector so that way we can plug them in later. Otherwise, you will have them the opposite way. After this is completed, now we can go ahead and grab the uh, battery holder. We place it on top and then we're going to install them with four screws and the screw size are the following. You guys have to use the machine screws, uh, M4 times 10 millimeters. These are the shorter ones. Okay, so let's get this completed. So now that we got the battery all squared away, our next step will be to install one of the motors. For this, we will have to remove the plate that came included together with the screws. Okay, so here we got the plate. This time I noticed that it is made of plastic instead of made of uh, aluminum like we have seen it before, but that's okay. Hopefully it will work just fine. And here we have the motor. So let's get this completed. So now before you actually complete the installation of your motor, make sure that you spin it around and that it is moving freely and that it's not touching with the actual fender. Keep that in mind. So now we got the motor installed, let's go ahead and complete the same process on the opposite side and this is so far how the balance scooter is looking. I am loving this red color, I think it looks very neat even though I already scratched it a little bit right there but it's going to get plenty more scratches later on but so far it's looking super great. And now with the motor set in place, we are ready to install the gyros. This is a very simple process. You guys are going to need four different screws for the corners. And the screw size in this particular one is going to be the M4-07 uh, times 12 millimeters. They are a little bit longer than the ones used on the actual motherboard and also on the battery holder. Before installing, make sure that the part where the opening is where you see this wire that it is facing the battery side and the same thing with the opposite side make sure that the gyro the connector is facing towards the motherboard it's very important and now we are working on the second gyro like I mentioned before make sure that the connection with the little opening it is facing the motherboard so that way you don't install it backwards your scooter may not function properly so again keep that in mind with the gyros already installed and all set to go now we are getting towards the end of this assembly now we're going to do the wiring part this is very very simple first of all you guys might want to start with the gyro connection now in case that you guys get the connections like this where the wires are not being colored uh, with this motherboard then it's very simple there is going to be a four wired connector and the other one is a five wire connector so you guys can't really get confused also there is a clip on the upper side and you guys are going to notice this little uh, piece of plastic that is elevated so that means that it goes on the upper side of the clip as you can tell so all you have to do is just push it in and that's about it the next connection we got here is for the motor 
So let me go ahead and grab the wires for the motor. You guys can see that it is very basic. Yellow goes with yellow. Green goes with green and blue goes with blue. So there's no really getting confused. And the cool part is that they come with this little rubber piece so that you can protect the connection. So let's go ahead and connect now uh, blue with blue. Then the next connection we're going to do is between the motor and the connection to the motherboard, as you guys can tell. And again, this is the uh, same story. You only have the connection for the clip can only go one way. So you guys really can get confused on this one. It's very simple. You push it in, make sure that it is nice and tight on there. Now, something that I would suggest is if you guys have some zip ties, maybe you can put some of these connections together. That way they're not hanging around like you see on mine. Unfortunately, right now I don't have zip ties. I totally forgot about it, but in the future I will open it again so I can tie them up. Uh, next, we got the connection. This is for the LED light on the uh, upper side. I think this is going to be for the sensor when you guys step on it. Uh, it's going to light up. The battery side is on the opposite side where the battery is located. So let me go ahead and get this connected to the gyro. And again, this is uh, very easy because you have a four connector, a four wire connector, and you have a three wire connector. So it can only go one way. There's no really getting confused. And now we got the wiring on the motherboard side all complete. So now we're gonna work on the battery side. Okay, on the battery side, it's pretty much the same steps with the exception that we do have the battery uh, connection on here. You guys want to leave this for last. So let's go ahead and get the motor connected. I think this is the first wire that I got on here, so make sure that you guys get it separated from the rest. Likewise, and again, the clip can only go one way, so there's no getting confused here, guys. This is very, very easy. Uh, let's go ahead and get the um, LED connected on the actual gyro. So, there we go. Now, in this case, I forgot to mention that since my wires are pretty much flat, I really didn't have to put them underneath the battery as you guys can tell here. So um, I decided to do this way because as it is right now, the battery holder seems to be a little bit tight on the battery. I had to loosen my screws a little bit just to provide more gap until the battery moves freely a little bit. You don't want to tie this too much. It is uh, dangerous, I would say. Uh, next, we got here the gyro connector to the motherboard. Okay, and then the final step here will be to connect the motor wires. So there we go, we got the battery connected and so far everything seems so good. Um, our next step will be to connect the bottom covers. Now before I do the final installation, I want to make sure that my scooter is powering on. So let me go ahead and connect some of the wires on here. So we got the one for the LED light. This right here goes on the gyro. So the next one we got is a two wire connector. This is for your power button, and then we got the charger, uh, the charging port, excuse me, and that's going to be a three wire connector, so there's no really getting confused here either. So let me go ahead and get this completed. So now we got most of the wires connected. The only one missing here is going to be the one for the front LED light, as you guys can tell. So for that, I'm just going to flip this thing around, and now I'm going to plug it in, and then we're going to do a quick testing here by powering on the unit. This is the power key once again, so let me see if we get some power. And yes, guys, this is amazing. I did get some power on the unit, as you can tell. Right now, I just powered it off, and now I just power it back on. So it seems to me like we are all set to go ahead and install the bottom covers. This is very simple. You guys have seen it many times before. Uh, for this, you guys are going to need the uh, same machine screws. Now for the side, these screws are going to be a little bit different and from the size I mean from the uh, corners actually, from the corners of this housing, you guys are going to need some different screws that go along with plastic. That's because these are not machined and the ones that I'm using are these size. They are a little bit too big I would say, but they still fit fine. So make sure that you guys install these on the corner. So after it is completed, I'll be showing you exactly how it looks. Here we go. So now that we just completed the assembly on this balance scooter, it is time for testing. I already powered on as you guys can see and we do have the battery indicator already on, meaning that this thing is already charged. And also we have the other indicator which is the gyro one and let me show you that it is working perfectly well. I will try to show you the best way possible. Let me show you here, there we go. So right now the motor is functioning. And I'll be showing you the motor in just a moment. Also the blue LED light is coming on. 
This is from the left hand side corner if you're looking at it from the back. If you're looking at it from the front, it's the right hand side. And now let's go ahead and test the other side here just for accuracy purposes. Actually, we can do it just from one side. There we go. You guys can see that the LED light is also coming on. So everything came out to be very nice. And I do like the quality. The green boards on the scooter are the same quality as the blue boards. So, so far, everything is great. Now, I did notice a little bit of an imperfection right here in the casing is separated, not giving us a straight line. As you can tell, that was the only little thing, but that has to do more with the manufacturing and not the assembly. Other than that, guys, this thing came out to be great. I'm super, super excited. I've never done it before, and it was a great experience. And now we're going to go for a quick test drive. I hope you guys enjoy it. have completed this little video about how to build or rebuild your balance scooter like always if you guys do have any questions you know exactly what to do leave your comment below don't forget to like the video subscribe for more thanks for watching and i'll see you on my next one